Kyoto, a city filled with deep tradition, culture, and history. With its rise in popularity, more and more tourists are coming here each year. So in this video, let me show you how you can escape the crowds and see more of what Kyoto has to offer other than just the popular tourist attractions. Kyoto, once the capital of Japan, is in the Kansai region of the main island. And in this video, we will be going to Amano Hashidate, which is located in the northern part of Kyoto. It's a sandbar that connects two separate sides of the Miyazu Bay and is also one of Japan's three most scenic views. There are trains and direct buses departing from Kyoto and Osaka, and the best part is you can enjoy the beautiful view of the Japanese countryside. As soon as you reach Amano Hashidate Station, you feel a peaceful and traditional atmosphere. The area isn't too big and there aren't too many attractions, so half a day to a day would be enough time to enjoy the area. First from the station, we are going to take a 5 minute walk to the nearby temple. The first thing I noticed when I walked into this temple was that they have these really cute fan shaped omikuji and normally they're just um, a piece of paper that you tie on the tree but over here it's like shaped like a fan which I find really cute and it decorates the tree really well as well. Chionji is one of the three temples in Japan dedicated to the Buddhist god of wisdom and intellect. Many students who are preparing for exams come to the temple to pray for their academic success. Next we will go to this shopping street where we can rent a bicycle and ride it across the sandbar. On the street there are also many restaurants and shops where you can buy souvenirs from. There are many rental bicycle shops in the area however most of them are calculated per hour but this one here offered me the same price except for the whole day. Hi. じゃ、5時までにお帰りください。5時までですね。はい。あら、はい。You can also take the boats across or you can walk for 45 minutes. Now I'm on the second bridge I think and I'm gonna go in there and ride to the other side of the sand strip. It's about a 15 minute ride all the way to the other side so I'm gonna hop on my bike and go to the other side now. Okay. There's no one there. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. We've got the beach on this side. We've got the forest with the beautiful Japanese matsu trees. I think. Oh, detour, guys. Which way should I go? Which way should I go? Which way? There. We've got the beach right there. Wow. you can also stop along the way and maybe have a picnic or something. Unfortunately, I forgot to buy some food so I think I'm gonna be eating at a restaurant. Now this is the perfect place to have a picnic. Hi. After you get out, it's like an old town so lots of um, local buildings and local shops. But don't worry, there's always a vending machine everywhere you go in Japan, no matter how local it is. The main attraction on the other side is the view from Kasamatsu Park. 
It's nice to have a stroll around and see the streets, and don't worry, there are always places to park your bike. Take the cable car or the chairlift to go up the mountain. They are both the same price but offer a different experience depending on what you feel like. This is a very interesting way of getting to the top. If you come in spring, you can also enjoy the beautiful cherry blossoms. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that looked pretty steep. Oh my gosh. This is so fun. If you're a bit scared of heights, then alternatively you can also take the cable car up the mountain for the same price. At the top, you can overlook Amanohashi Date and see why it is one of Japan's three most scenic views. Amanohashi Date roughly translates to bridge in heaven, so many say it looks like a pathway between heaven and earth. The sandbar can be viewed anywhere on the top of the mountain, however this place here is the best place to view it. Now here come some ladies who have found my top secret lookout point. But wait, wait, what, what are they doing? Just what exactly are they gonna do? If you haven't figured it out already, they are trying to look at the sandbar upside down. This is called Mata Nozoki and this practice originated at this park and visitors have been following it for over a millennium. If you do this, the sea is above and the sky is below, which makes the sandbar appear to be a bridge over heaven. Another fun thing you could do here is throw mini plates into this ring here to get your wish to come true. Okay, okay, first try, no biggie. Okay, just, I've still got two more tries. I can do it, come on. Okay, okay, it's a bit harder than I thought. Okay, last one. Let's do it right. Okay, time to go home. <laughs> there are also shops where you can buy food and souvenirs to bring back home. And like everywhere else you go in Japan, there is bound to be a place marketed at couples. So here is a place where you can buy a love lock and chain it to the rope. So now I'm gonna go get some food and there were some shops along the way which sold a lot of street food so I'm gonna go check that out. A specialty in Miyazu is their black chikua. Most chikua found in supermarkets are white so I decided to ask what the difference was. Chikua to no chikua no chigaiwa Apparently this area is famous for this, so let's try it out. Mm. It doesn't have it doesn't have such a fishy taste. It tastes a little bit more like tofu. Like fried tofu. <laughs> I feel like a caveman with this. But it's pretty tasty. This is huge and it was only 350 yen. There are a few more temples around the area you can check out and enjoy the traditional environment without any crowds. So if you have a day to spare while you are in the Kansai region, this place is a great getaway from the crowds and definitely a favourite place of mine in Kyoto. Where did they all go? They were all there for a second. Are they all bobbing their heads in the water? Wait, wait, I swear there was a lot of them. Okay, there they are. Woohoo, they were out again. They're playing hide and seek with me. But you guys know what I love about summer is that um, you come to the beach, but there's this game called Sikawari where you have a watermelon and you're blindfolded and you have to try, try and like walk towards it and like whack it. And then after someone whacks it, you share the watermelon with everyone.